Hey there everyone, uh, before I start the video I just want to say there are going to be some kinks in this one. I still wanted to record it, you'll see why later, uh, but uh, I'm still learning OBS. It's not that hard to master, just got to do more testing before you do stuff. Uh, so 10% of the screen is cut out and Indicator isn't on the screen. But I'm going to do extensive testing before the next um, video, uh, so I'll have everything on it. So. Um, just take that for what it is. Next time it will be better. Everything will be there. So let's get to the video. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Game Vine. And my name is Freddie Mercury. Not really, of course. I am Dave, but I'm doing a special Halloween episode. So I'm going to a party later on tonight. And I'm all dressed up and I had a few minutes to spare. So I wanted to do a race for the gold in Hearthstone. So we're going to be trying to get our uh, Pally up to par. He is at 498 as of right now, and we're gonna go with the I Dream of Genie deck. So, we'll see if we'll get another win out of that. So, let's go right ahead and get to it. I uh, don't have a game this time. Uh, again, I'm kind of lacking on that. I wanted that to be a tradition. So, I will talk about a game. Hmm, what board game do I want? Oh, uh, Adrenaline. Um, it is a game from CCG, uh, or CEG, um, and they are taking a worker placement, but they're disguising it uh, as a kind of Mara Thrash game where um, you're fighting robots. So I would look into that. That's a really cool board game that's going to be coming out really soon, if not already out. I can't really, th I don't remember. I do remember seeing it at Origins, though. So. Uh, the I Dream of Genie gave us a lot of middle curve games, so we don't want that. And we are we are facing a mage. Well, let's get a win out of this. Come on, baby. So there's our Genie. We didn't get him last game, and that's the deck isn't really centered around him. But there is that's kind of like my middle game plan A. So, uh, but we do have a good dragon in here. Um, do I coin on it? Yes, yeah, sure, because he can't take it out. Do some damage, take them down, because we want this win. We are on a pretty good winning streak when it comes to race for the gold right now. So, Just like you. ooh, we got the bot. Do we trade? Sure, I'll trade. Hopefully, I mean he's gonna have a spell to kill the bot, but it would be great to get the genie out and then drop our blessings. So. It's not gonna happen. I wouldn't be too upset if Dr. Boom came out either because it's a seven seven on turn four. Uh, we don't get the bots, but this guy wouldn't be too bad either. He can just take it out regardless. Do we save the bot? Mm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Who decisions, decisions. This guy is a killer queen right now. We'll make him use a spell. Or he can ping it, but we'll see what he does. Yeah, that's... That's the route he's going, but I made him use mana. So we w definitely gonna drop a blessing since we have two. Take this guy out, because he is super annoying. Super annoying. And it comes packaged in every mage deck. It's not a mage deck if you don't have one of those flame pingers. <laughs> we want the gold, we want the gold, 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 gold. Ooh, do I build a nice wall? I'm gonna risk it. He's gonna fireball. Because nobody likes the genie. Blizzard's not too bad. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Especially now that I got the rags. Alright, the genie's working. 
and then we're going to throw Raggy out, and uh, we're going to do some cleaning with our rag. Wax on, wax off. Okay, there's the sheet. We still got a 9.5 out there though, so he has to contend with that. But he's, he's, he's a frost mage, so he's going to keep us frozen, for lack of a better term. Do I throw out Doctor? Yes, because he lives through a flame strike. And he also, he's going to ping this, uh, this killer queen right here, so. Killer ice queen. That's what I'm calling this one. Yeah, see, now, that's not a terrible one to get through. You want to take it out. It's going to get hit by one bombs, right? Yeah. And Dr. Dujo. Wow. Yeah, so I pieced this uh, outfit together relatively cheap. I had to get shoes, white pants. It's hard to find some good quality tight white pants on short notice, I'll tell you that. Uh, and then just this muscle shirt and the mustachio. And it came to about, what, $30 or something. Goodwill, people. Goodwill. All right, so this is what he's got. Do I copy? It's a big wall. Can I copy? Get some cards while we're at it. Four of them. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh man, he's in for a world of hurt if he can't figure something out. Oh, oh, oh. well, that's one way to do it. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, now if he kills himself, he stops since the debuff happened. Fair. Oh. Yeah, one of the whispers is gonna go out. So it wasn't terrible. I still got game, but we're gonna have fun. And that is our 499th win, people. And we did it with the Genie deck. And I like the Genie deck. I don't know what deck I'm gonna use to get the 500th win. Uh, it seems like this one's working pretty well. Though the dragon deck is really fun as well. Uh, much faster than this one. This takes some time. So going against slower classes like Priest and um, possibly uh, the Warrior maybe. But um, once you get to that middle curve, you're good to go. So there you have it, people. Thank you so much for joining me in another edition of Race for the Gold, the Halloween edition. And until the next time that I see you, I've been Dave. And have a great rest of your day and a great time with all the Hearthstone that you play. You heard it here on the Game Vine. Freddie Mercury out.